Look, we woke up in the morning packing those. No one is there still, but everything is working. Look at that. Can you see? That's working. You will see that one. There is light in it. Right. In every single one. There's power everywhere. And still no one's there. The showers actually and toilets are somewhere there next to the pool. The pool is open. You can enter that. No living person there. At least they've got solar panels. Look at that. And my friend is talking by phone. But there, look, British couple. Okay. My friend is trying to explain to his wife how to restart the smart TV or something. Well, I just told my mate that I can only see the fog in my glasses. So, that's really good that I remember the road from yesterday. Well, luckily after just a few meters, I could see through the glasses. That's kind of useful, isn't it? Well, I think it is, especially on the road like that. Let's take a look at the map where are we at the moment. We started the day close to Borgo San Lorenzo and now we are heading slightly west. Oh, and I would miss the very important information about that camping. Actually, in the morning there was one person who charged us 10 euros per person. Well, I wouldn't say that's expensive, but for sure it wasn't cheap, especially for a zombie camping. But who would care about the money if you are on the roads like those? Actually, the plan was to be in the mountains. And I don't know if we can call that the mountains, but soon we should be in a bit higher ones. And probably, just probably, we are in the mountains already. But we don't know that because of the fog. Lovely, right? Well, let me tell you one thing. That fog is rather gorgeous. But it's not the fog, it's the cloud. Did you ever rode through the cloud? If not, let me tell you, it's not pleasant at all. It's like riding through the constant drizzle. Cold one. So we really hoped that we won't have to do it. What's more, it looked like it wants to rain. So we decided that because we are in some village or small town, there needs to be coffee somewhere here. And it's a good time to stop. Because we didn't have breakfast and we didn't have a proper coffee in the morning. And look, there is a coffee on the left. So let's stop somewhere here and let's hope it will be good. Chaos, czyli po angielsku chaos. Interesting place for sure. To be honest with you, the breakfast was delicious and the coffee was really good. Italian style, of course. Yeah, the place was chaotic, but who cares? We are in Italy. It should be like that, shouldn't it? What's more, the cloud disappeared. Almost. So we are kind of safe. However, it got cold a bit. Well, you can see my friend is riding in a leather jacket. Meaning, it has to be colder. But, it can also mean that we are going higher. And that can be brilliant. And 
so far, we are not disappointed. Here is the road, here is the forest with trees and whatnot. Our bikes here. And you might think nothing interesting, but then, but then, look at that. How far is that? Look how that. Uh -huh. What those people are doing there. Such a nice place, but it was time to go, because we've got more nice places to visit. At least, that was a plan. But first, it would be nice not to get smashed on that road. But I slowly have to admit that that road is kinda smashing. Look here! There is a statue of the big testicle or something. Columbus <laughs> done. <laughs> <coughs> And look, we stopped in okay. that lovely location. Just look at that. Yeah, well, lovely village, but we didn't stop for that village. We didn't stop to look at that tower either. We stopped for something else. Pontes Espeso, yes. Meaning suspended bridge somewhere. Eine kleine Pontes Espeso. No, I'm not going to go to minutes. No, I'm not going to go to the next one. Oh, I'm not Well, it was sort of nice, but we had to walk. And, well, it wasn't that nice, really, to force us to walk. Now, it's better to ride a bike. Now we are talking. I would say, rather nice place, eh? Well, we didn't plan that. We just stopped here because we saw that view. Which is, yeah, gorgeous. What I just said is that you can buy a house with a bit of wall here. Probably it's sort of cheap. Well, to be honest, the properties are really, really cheap in Italy. Crazy cheap. Which makes me think... Hmm, you know what it makes me think, yeah? Gladiel, look at the architecture here. Yeah, those towns are absolutely amazing. Look at that. You know what? I could easily live here. If you've got a job for me there, yeah, just let me know. But in the meantime, we stopped for a dinner in a good company. Yeah. So, we've got that, I've ordered that, he ordered that, and I think I've made a better choice. What you reckon? And obviously, my choice was that. <laughs> but look, that's not all, because we've got a 
second dish, which doesn't look good. However, it was really, really delicious. Anyway, time to go, because you know what? It's not a food channel, it's motorcycle channel after all. I think I wouldn't mind to live there. Definitely, I wouldn't. And also, commuting to work on those roads wouldn't be that painful, I think. The only issue is to find the job there. But I will say it again. If you've got the job for me there, just let me know. Just let me know. <laughs> Well, I just said it's a nice place to fly a drone. Except I didn't charge the batteries. Shit happens. <laughs> just look at that. Why didn't I charge the batteries? What's wrong with me? <laughs> what a place, guys, eh? Absolutely stunning. This place is called Ligurian Apennines. I thought it will be Ligurian Alps, but actually it's further away, so it's Apennines. But who actually cares about the names? I know, I know, some people do. Never mind. That place is absolutely, yes, smashing indeed. But from the world we've seen another smashing place. So let us turn around and let us show you that. Look. Ah, the, the hair classic. Okay, so from the top, you fall down, you will be able to see it. To, to też idzie. Nice and interesting. It looks like an old quarry, but kind of abandoned now. What's more, it doesn't look like it's well-known quarry because I couldn't find it on Google Maps. Well, nevertheless, in the last episode, I will give you the link to the GPX file, so you will be able to find yourself where it was, if you are interested, of course. Yes, very nice. Worth stopping indeed. But let's go back to the bikes, as we need to see more interesting places. And what you reckon? Will it take long for us to stop again? Yeah, that long. But just take a look. Wouldn't you stop? Do I even need to comment that it was worth stopping and it's beautiful? Well, I don't think so. However, it's really time to go, because we need to cover some miles finally. Oh, the wheels got a little squeaky now. Oh, it don't get long out the view. Fabulous view. So what could we do? Yeah, of course, stop to take a picture. But yeah, it was just a short stop. And let's continue. What was I saying about stopping all the time? Yeah, that we need to stop here. Obviously. Just look at that! Bloody hell, it looks magnificent. And I look magnificent. Sort of. <laughs> mm. 
And here, when we look at the map, there is a famous quarry here. But I don't think this is that one. I think that's the one which you can see on the horizon there. And you would need to walk there, which is, well, a big no from me. Yeah, there is a gate, so definitely you cannot ride there. Yeah, bollocks to that. Okay, spójrzmy me na to. A tu... A tu... A tu przepaść. Tu idzie droga. Pierdziele. Powiem ci... Robi wrażenie to mało powiedziane. Yeah, well, actually, I think I need a new pants right now. But no matter what, it was time to go again. The other smashing views are waiting for us. I have to say that I'm really impressed by my friend's behavior. With his acrophobia, he's still able to record something. Just look! I know he's riding a bit on the left side, However, look at that! He filmed it! What? Wouldn't you stop here? Well, I would, so I stopped. Look at that. We came from there, and we are going there. And then, look at those clouds. Then, there is a road which is going there, and that road is also going there. And here. So this road is basically going from such a mountains like that, down to the sea. That's simply nuts. That's seriously one of the best roads I've ever been. And possibly even the best one. That was one hell of a road. And still is. Just look around. And yes, an obligatory stop for a picture. Well, we are on holidays after all. Patrz, 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 jakie światki ładne. Zobacz, kolorowo. Jak myślisz, co to jest? Ty nie wiem. I believe those flowers were placed there to commemorate the extraordinary skills of Italian drivers. And well, as you can see, that road wasn't easy for my friend. The edge there was absolutely impressive. And yes, in those lovely circumstances, we arrived at the city of Massa. And in that lovely place, we decided to take a stop and look for the accommodation for today. Because you know what? It actually got late. And no, of course it's not because we were stopping every now and then. No, it's because the road was too curvy, too many potholes, too many cars. 
and what not. But in the meantime, we actually learned that this place is not quite cheap. So yes, we found an accommodation, but it is in the mountains again. So yeah, we will just ride through that lovely city and then go back to the mountains. Very, very nice indeed, but it's nice to be back in the mountains again. As you probably know, I much prefer quiet places and the hills. Let's enjoy it then. Well, I have to admit, I really love those small Italian towns. I really do. I think I could live a life like that. And now, my friends, we are nearing our bed and breakfast. But before we finish the video, let me share today's story. After getting the keys to our flat, we just stowed our luggage and went to the pub downstairs. First things first, we wanted to order some food. Unfortunately, we found there is none available. Therefore, we ordered a pint, just to be shocked to be charged 6 euros per glass. That wasn't even full pint, but mere 0.4 liters. However, after spotting a different person behind the counter, after the owner left, I decided to give the place another chance and I asked for a cheaper beer. Why I thought there needs to be a cheaper one? Because the pub was actually full of locals and no way they will pay 6 euros a pint. The waitress confirmed, they actually had exactly the same beer in bottles, 0.6 liters for 3 euros. Come on! So I ordered 4. Upon the owner's return, he realized that we uncovered his tourist beer ploy. He approached us, laughed a bit about that, and then he disappeared. After just a minute, he came back with a plate full of various meat and crisps as an apology. Bloody Italians! Come on! But never mind the stupid stories and look at that! That's what will be coming in the next episode. We will be riding through the mountains, we will fly the drone and we will have even more mountains. Which will be brilliant, right? Just take a look. But after all that, there will be a sad part. As yeah, we will have to say goodbye to each other. But don't worry, it's not the end of my part of the story. So see you next time. Cheers.